the home front homeless. I didn't have anything. I remember um, me and my son's clothing was in a, um, a duffel bag, and that's all I had. And my son, um, you know, he had a couple books and things like that, but that was all that I had. I worked. I was working. It, it, I was not you know, unemployed, I was working, it's just that I could not afford to pay market rent. So, my son at the time, he was four. Yeah, now he's seven. Um, I couldn't afford to pay market rent. I was, you know, I was, I was in school, I was working, I was in nursing school. I was petitioning for Mercer's RN program, but then I became homeless. So it was the whole thing of what is going to take precedence, you know, my home stability situation or my education. And as a parent, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't, you know, proceed with my education and see me and my son homeless. So I went to home front, not knowing what to expect. Um, they gave me a place to stay that was, you know, that was affordable. When I moved into my first apartment, I didn't have any furniture. Me and my son didn't have a bed to sleep on or anything. And they helped me with this. So to me, programs like those were what was what, what is needed more in the state of New Jersey. We need more, we need more places like Homefront. We need more Miss Connie's. We need more Miss Sonia's. We need more Miss Andrea's. We need more of those type of people and more of those type of programs. Um, I just finished this year. Um, I stopped the, L the RN program and I went to an LPN program, you know, in a, in a sense to make money faster. It was a year program. And um, I make decent money, but I'm still working two jobs because I'm still not able to pay my bills. So I'm still working two jobs. I have become, you know, the type of parent where I can make oodles and noodles look like it just came from the Chinese restaurant. <laughs> Because I try to sneak in those extra minutes with my son and to actually cook a whole dinner, it would take away from my quality time with my son. Um, I'm also a victim of my son is seven years old and he still sleeps in the bed with me because, again, like Beverly said, I need that quality time with him. I don't have it. I work seven to three and then four days out of the week, I work three to 11 because I just cannot afford to pay market rent. And on top of that, my son has to pay for lunch to school as well. And they don't even, it's not even pay for lunch. They have to bring lunch. So it's so that I don't give him some junk to take to school, like some Cheetos or, you know, some something that's oversweetening. I have to, you know, go to work so that he has a decent lunch to take to school. It's, it's very hard. It's very hard as a parent. I spend my days at work when I work 7 to 3 and 3 to 11, and sometimes I'll take an 11 to 7 shift. I hate to work it, but I have no choice. I mean, I really don't have a choice. And being a single parent, what choice do I have? I don't have the luxury of coming home and, you know, somebody saying, oh, honey, dinner is ready, or the kids is in bed, or, you know, I, I don't have that luxury. So what choice do I have? I spend my days worrying, does my son eat? You know, how did, how did his school day go? Um, and he's not the phone type person, so I can't call him and ask him because if I'm not home, his homework is not done. He's, you know, if I'm not home, I'm mom. So if I'm not home, somebody is not going to take care of my child like mommy is going to take care of him. They're not going to make sure he goes to bed at 9 o'clock. It's times I come home three from working 3 to 11. My son is still woke, and he has to go to school the next day. Um, it's these type of hardships that, you know, if there was more affordable housing, maybe, you know, I wouldn't have to work so hard or so many hours and lose so much quality time. And the other day my son said something to me, and I'm like, oh, my God, wow, when did he get this intelligence? Because the last time I looked at you, you were still a baby, and now he's talking to me like he's a big boy. He's growing up, and I'm missing these things. I'm missing this because I'm working. I'm working and I'm trying to go to school again to get my RN license so that maybe, you know, that'll help me out so that I won't have to work so hard. Um, it, it's just so, so difficult as a parent. I said by the time I finish school, my son will be about 14 years old and I'll miss all of these milestones that he took to become a teenager. I will have missed them because I was working and 
trying to go to school to make life a little bit 